Yo, so Call of Duty Black Ops 6 has came out on the 25th of October. Today, right now, is the 2nd of November. It's currently like 3.07 in the morning. I am finally going for camos instead of just leveling up. I'm so far Prestige 2 level 26. I mean, Prestige 1 level 26. I, said, I don't know why I said Prestige 2. Um, I'm starting off with my SMGs because that's the closest one I had. Before I got my C9 already gold. I got my KSV to where I have to do like actual like challenges instead of headshots and that's where i feel like i want to get all of my smgs before i just go ahead and do all the challenges i feel like the easiest parts are the challenges so what i want to do is get all of the smgs to the headshot like past the headshot part then just do the challenges because they're super easy so right now i'm on my tanto i'm level 26 so i don't have all of them unlocked as of right now but i'm gonna just you know the ones i have unlocked i'm gonna get the headshot portion done so that it's easy to just do the uh, regular challenge so black Ops 6 has been out for a little minute and so far i like the game um at first i really thought this game was pretty shitty not gonna lie especially being a low level and everybody was a low level the game was definitely shitty 100 percent shitty um now that you know i got some stuff unlocked in prestige one i got a feel for the game it's not so shitty um i like the game a little bit out of 10 i would have to rate this game probably like a six seven or hot or yes yeah, hot seven or eight because you know it's a pretty good game but uh there are definitely some cons with this game now the spawns are my fucking number one problem with this game because the spawns are retarded in this game they make no sense at all you spawn right next to the enemy you spawn in the enemy sites you you feel me like it's just shit that's so retarded especially in hardcore i played hardcore and i had the worst experience of my life i literally would spawn die spawn die spawn die it felt like I was Jeff where I, I just can't compete. I, I just can't. I, I, there's nothing I could do to save my life. Just spawn in somebody's sniper scope. And this map that I'm on right here, uh, what's this called? Warhead. This is the worst map I've ever played on in my life. I hate this map with every soul in my body. But I'm playing the face-off mosh pit mode to, you know, because it's smaller maps, fast, faster paced gameplay to get my headshots and just you know level up faster as well and um you're kind of fucked and i'm gonna show you guys later in a second you're kind of fucked when it comes to this face face uh face off mosh pit where you'll literally get warhead over and over and over and over Out of all of these face-off maps, I like Stakeout. Stakeout has to be my favorite map out of all of these face-off maps. And as you can see right here, Gala Pit Classified is what the map choices are. Now, if I leave this lobby and join a new face-off lobby, it will be the same exact thing. It will be Gala on top, Pit second, then last Classified. Now, everybody, I'm pretty sure, has the same thought process that I do. That we don't like the map, right? We don't like Gala. We don't like Pit so the choice is classified right me personally i fucking hate warhead i hate that map i rather play pit gala than warhead any a day regularly if i wasn't going for headshots right so like i just said i joined a new lobby it's pit gala classified now if you click classified 90 percent of the time it's gonna be warhead i swear to you not 90 percent of the time it's gonna be warhead and look it's warhead now if i leave this lobby and I find a new lobby, it's gonna put me in a Warhead lobby, or it's gonna show me the same three choices. Gala first, Pit second, or Classified. Happily, I got Stick Out though. I'm so glad I can finally go for my headshots because this balcony is a blessing for headshots, bro. You could just pre-aim for the head and get so many headshots. But this this test I did for the map, for this face-off shit, I've literally went in and out seven times and gotten Warhead over and over and over because it gives you those two map choices and the classified and everybody votes for the classified because nobody likes the fucking maps in this game and then it gives you warhead and warhead is another shitty map in the game
definitely didn't get as much kills as I wanted to nor I, sh I definitely want to get rid of this Tanta because uh, I don't like the Tanta for headshots. It has a very slow fire rate and it's hard to hit headshots with this weapon. But I'm glad that I'm getting all of the SMGs that I haven't been using out of the way. I have most of the SMGs kind of further in the headshot progress because I've used these SMGs a lot. I've only been playing face off mosh pit for just level so i've been using my smg now we have pit here right i'm gonna leave and find another face off mosh pit now watch what happens when i do this i get pit again okay i watch i'm gonna leave the lobby right it was probably the same lobby right i'm gonna leave the lobby find a new face off mosh pit watch what happened now if it's not the same lobby of pit it's probably gonna be gala pit classified right and out of those two maps you probably don't want those two maps right so you're gonna pick classified right gala pit classified like i just said right boom so we're all gonna vote classified right and what is the classified gonna be it's gonna be war Head. every time watch watch three two one warhead how anyway like i was saying earlier about my progress i'm prestige one level 27 uh the first thing i used my prestige token was my as val now on the camo grind i haven't been too far on my is okay so i'm on this red tiger part of my as val on accident the guns that i have been using i've gotten the headshots on accident and i'm pretty far so that's why i'm starting off with smgs on this uh, camel grunt is val I'll get to later because it's an ar like i said i don't have all of these smgs unlocked because i prestiged i only have the c9 which i already have gold the ksv which i'm on the challenges the tanto which i'm trying to get my headshots for so the next one i'll unlock is the p, p the pp which i've already used for a little bit so i'm pretty sure i'm far on the headshot grunt uh the jack saw maybe a little bit i'm not sure and the compact i haven't used it at all so i would have to get my headshots for that as well so as you can see i have the c9 here which is already gold then i have the ksv which i got to the actual objectives like challenges like like get 50 kills while moving which i will just save for later because that's pretty easy uh tanto i'm getting towards the objectives i need to get a hundred headshots right boom i'm at and then i'll get to the um other objectives and then i have the xm because those are the last of the smgs that I have unlocked tanto was the last one so i have the xm which i'll try to get all of the headshots for but it was also a weapon that i was using and i just accidentally have headshots for so i'm up to the tide where i need four more headshots to get to 75 and then after that i need to get 100 is val i had to use my permanently unlock on this gun not only is it the last gun you unlock it's just the most op gun in the game I'm not playing in this lobby. I'm just not. I'm not playing in that lobby, bro. Now, Nuketown 24-7 is out. And the reason why I haven't played it so far is because I'm trying to get headshots. But I want to see how easy it is to get headshots on Nuketown. Because it is a leveled map. So maybe it might be easy. I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to go into this Nuketown playlist.
Okay, I need 12 more headshots for the Tanto, and I'll be done with the Tanto. I'll have all of my headshots done for the Tanto. So far, this is all you guys are gonna see for this uh, first part of my camel grind. I don't know if I enjoy the time trying to get headshots on Nuketown, but I still need one headshot to get Red Tiger to get to objectives. Um, I'll show you guys and update you guys on the next video where I am on this camel grind. But with all that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.